Absolutely over my back. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube, man? <clears throat> it's your boy, Musically. I apologize for being a day late or two days, whatever it is. Um, as I said, I've got my boy and I've been busy, busy, busy. But we're about to check this out. Big shout out to Ren. Big shout out to everyone who's been supporting me, man. So we're about to check this out. This is Ren Money Part 3. Um, you know what time it is, man. Let's get it. Too sure, but I'm pretty sure that is a, a song, man. Like that's been out for a while. Unless he's tweaked it a little bit, but it sounds a bit. I swear I've heard that before somewhere. I'm not really the best with piano, like all that stuff. Um, I know things Mozart or Beethoven were saying. Like I know them ones, but that sounds proper like. <laughs> Switch up, man. <laughs> That's got to be red, isn't it, man? Because if he's, he can tell by his hands. Swear to God, Ren's got to do a horror film like, or something man, with this sort of stuff in it. It's like we all know it now, so we, like we can relate to it. Like we we know what it's about. <laughs> Piano, it's like a, a build up uh, to something that's just going to release or explode in a minute. <laughs> that's what it feels like. you a story about a boy named Jimmy. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. Six years old and he's reading writing top of the bunch. And when he's seven, his progression made him student number one. Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven. It's bad because when it's like, I thought I was gonna say, but I think where he see at the start when he says like, give me, I think he says give me, give me, give me, or something like that. <laughs> And he's like one of them kids that probably gets is gonna get everything in this. Just the way Ren's sort of saying it, with like with the attitude and like it's, it's his mind, 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 and he'll give me some hat. And made him student number one. Eight years old, and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, Son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, 
machine He develops complex software code That detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols Seventeen and he sells his vision Keeping the share Not yet an adult but he's practically a millionaire Eighteen and his daddy tells him Now you're a man This world don't give a damn about you So take all that you can Facts Facts, facts, man. Take all that you can because it's fucking the world will take all it can. Even when you've got nothing, it'll still try and take it. <laughs> facts, man. I was in now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the <laughs> truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 20. Yeah, that's true, man. The news do that all the time. They sell and say that ain't true, they'd sell it as it's true. It's crazy. I really like the BBC and that. They just they put up what you want, they want you to see, not what what what's the truth. That happens a lot, man. That's 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 news all over the world though, let's be fair. An obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. Twenty-three, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. Twenty-four, he makes the Forbes list. They're applauding his name. Twenty-five, and his daddy tells him, "Listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won." Twenty-six, a business shift. He switches business to arms. He's twenty-seven, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. Twenty-eight, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's twenty-nine, a role of counsel in the president. Now he's 30. He's <laughs> you see that? It's mad at that. Let me say that. See, he's 29, a role of counsel in the president's The Senate money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Yeah, you can see, like, he does that. Obviously, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we do that over here. I think we do something similar, like, but it's like a. Sign of respect in it, but when you're high up. Senate money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now we still keep reading me up, man. 27 dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28 inside the Senate money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now he's 30. His daddy says you're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 30. <laughs> Oh, no, man. I wonder what he's actually getting out of Cuba, man. Let me just turn this on side, man, because this is not going to stop ringing. I wonder what he's getting out of Cuba. His daddy's approved. I said nothing. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32 moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling where. Yeah, I told you. Houses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind. Sound like talking about. The fucking what's their Mexican or the Colombians are coming? They come now. Powder and guns, cartels. <laughs> Sound like fucking Pablo Escobar. Uh, Pablo Escobar saying, "Well, fucking El Chapo." Thirty-four tons. He's thirty-three filling warehouses with powder and guns. Thirty-four turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. Yeah, that's like, that's definitely out that way, man. Fucking Columbia and that. <laughs> hey, I run shit out there, man. The gorillas and that. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. <laughs> 35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. That's sick way you switch that up, man. Like, he's getting like the, the proper fast and that, and then. Obviously, with the phone, it's just like whew, calm talking again because you talk on the phone. That's sick, man. <laughs> 35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. But it's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36. Getting pissed <gasps> off. Abusing his product. 37. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. 38. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 30. Oh. You thought that was sick. A moment of passion, heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the. Uh, and a silver spoon, obviously, he was born into, like, you know, we, I'm not too sure he was born in, but, you know, having all that wealth, yeah. 
because his mum and dad put him through private school and all that, didn't they? So he obviously they always they had money. That's what that saying is. Uh, born with a silver spoon, um, which I ain't, <laughs> and a lot of people ain't. And then chasing the silver spoon, in other words, doing cracking that heroin off the spoon, and that. that's what he's talking about. Silver spoon like a teaspoon. With a prostitute, a moment of passion, heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. Yeah. 39, getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave. Thank you. Uh, he's like, obviously, that's not fucking rocket science, but anyone knows. Uh, <laughs> so he started talking about turf war and. Police in their pocket with the rest of the shit. <laughs> Can only be one thing. Reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. Man, Ren's up back in that fucking wheelchair. <laughs> Another place we make uh, was it high rent wasn't it? Was it high rent? I just thought it was high rent. He was in it. He played the guitar. Yeah, it is, man. Who says I don't think you'll be walking again? Fuck. Start watching a little movie. <laughs> I can't wait till Ren starts acting, man. Do an acting. It's gonna be sick. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, mine, mine, give me. 41, he wasn't walking. See, so he cursed the words. Now he says, oh, it's mine, mine, give me. Yeah, see, that's what he said. He cursed the words because that's what he did at the start. But nah, he ain't got no one to fall back on. His dad's not there. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's not got that. Even though it's still in his brain. Um, but it's, it's, it's completely changed, man. That's crazy. 40, and he cursed the words, mine, mine, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. Yeah. And his example is exaggerated virtue. Ah, this is epic. This sounds so sick, man. Only Red, man. Only Red can do this. For souls, Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the... What's sick camera in as well? That's what I've noticed a lot of this, man. The setup and the camera has been so good, man, in this one. For free, put your hand inside the cookie jar. Take more than you... Epic's been like a motion. From one scene to the next scene with the music and that it's been crazy me and his example is exaggerated versions of me and it's the version of him and it's the version of she and it's a version of you there's no escaping the blame the way we live is parasitic fuck the money and fame call the music uh. this isn't entertainment this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. Yeah, that's facts, man. That is facts. I was, I was talking to my pal before when we were saying that, um, like, with money, like, as you say, it's an invention. Like, something's only worth something because someone's willing to pay it. Like, if, if you actually think about it, let's, let's take, like, a Bugatti Veyron. Or Charon, whatever they put it up for five million pounds. If no one buys it, they ain't gonna keep it at five million pounds, it's gonna keep dropping in value. Anything, only thing's all got a price because someone is willing to pay that and everyone follows that suit most of the time. It's crazy, man. And it's true what he said about the money, it's just an invention. That we these it, it just categorizes everyone and people and dying. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Yeah. Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. <laughs> Oh 
oh man, I keep forgetting I'm reacting. I'm just like zoned out to this. Like, what's happening next? What's going on? <sighs> Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in... See what I was saying about the camera and, and the way it's been constructed. Like, I don't normally dive into a lot of stuff like this, but it's, it's hard not to. This one is the fact that there's different times that Ren's talking slow. There's a bit of a longer pause or something. The camera is still moves to a place where it keeps you engaged still makes your thought process start again with something different it's, that's fucking amazing man schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies and our fate could be the same without this story to the wise Back in that chair again. <laughs> 45. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon the wheelchair. See what I'm saying? That's the way he sets the scene, and he's just literally just. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon the wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate With a 45 calibre aimed at his brain 45 a fitting number cause his age is the same Here's the words of his father It's such a damn shame Then he presses on the trigger of a money game uh, No, no Yeah man, I've had, see uh, uh, have that Jimmy dude having his dad's pro thought process and his dad's words in his mind man, from, from, from all that time. That's crazy as well. The kid just wanting everything, me, 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 and look what it got him into. I feel like greed, in it? Too much. Sometimes you think, well, it's enough. But a lot of people can't stop there, man. They get addicted to it. The, the fame, the money, and the rest of it. <laughs> Big shout out to Ren, man. Masterclass, this one, man. This was amazing. Um, different. But as I said, as always, Ren is, still manages to to be great in, and come from a different angle, man. So please subscribe, like, comment if possible, man. Have a good day.